hello hello dear viewers a very warm welcome to our channel in this video we are going to have a look at top causes of manual transmission failure well there are several common causes of a manual gearbox failure let's have a look at some of the top ones the first one is lack of lubrication insufficient lubrication or contaminated gearbox oil can lead to increased friction and wear between the gears bearings and other internal components over time this can cause gearbox failure as you can see, the gearbox is filled with a transmission fluid. Transmission oil will be splashed to all the gears. As you can see, when the gearbox is turning, oil is sprayed to the different gears. This transmission is running in slower speed, but the actual transmission on a car is spinning at high speed. So that will cause the oil to splash to the gears. And this will reduce friction between the mating gears and that will prolong the service life by reducing friction. If there is a problem with this lubrication, if there is lack of lubrication, however, excessive friction will cause gearbox to fail because it will lead to friction increase, temperature rise, and damage teases as well. The other type, the other thing that can cause a manual gearbox failure is incorrect fluid type and fluid level. Using the wrong type of gearbox oil or Failing to maintain the proper fluid level can also impact the gearbox performance and it can lead to premature wear and damage. Oil has to be sufficiently filled and the gears has to be well lubricated in order to prolong their life. If that is not the case, that will lead to oil starvation and uh, imminent damage on the gear. If the viscosity of the oil is not correct, oil will not be staying between the gear teeth and that will lead to gearbox failure as well. The other thing that can cause a manual gearbox failure is clutch related problems. Problems associated with the clutch system can contribute to gearbox failure. This is basically because when there is a problem with the clutch, if the clutch is not properly disengaging, that can lead to gear clash. Worn out clutch parts, worn out clutch disc and a problem with the clutch pressure plate or release bearing that can cause a gearbox failure. If the clutch does not engage or disengage properly, it can cause excessive stress on the gearbox. For example, if the clutch is not disengaging properly, that can lead to gear clash. And gear will have hard time shifting and engaging. That will lead to broken teeth on the transmission side. Problems that are associated with improper shifting techniques can also be a cause for gearbox failure. Frequent aggressive or careless shifting without proper clutch engagement can cause excessive wear and it can lead to damaged gearbox. This includes harsh shifting, for example, leading to gear lash, leading to grinding gears and forcing the transmission into gears. Uh, these are some of the things that are associated with improper shifting. The other things that can cause a gearbox failure is overloading putting excessive strain on the gearbox by constantly operating with heavy loads or by towing loads that are beyond the recommended capacity that can also lead to premature gearbox failure as we have mentioned earlier lack of lubrication can cause the gearbox to overheat so heat build up in the gearbox can also be another cause of gearbox failure overheating can be a significant factor in gearbox failure Continuous driving and heavy loads, aggressive driving, uh, towing and high temperature condition can also cause transmission to overheat, leading to damage of the internal components. Even though it is not common, sometimes manufacturing defect can contribute to frequent gearbox trouble. These defects include poor design, faulty materials or improper assembly of the gearbox assembly can also be another cause of gearbox failure. And finally, lack of proper maintenance. Neglecting regular maintenance tasks such as fluid change, it can lead to accumulated debris and sludge or metal shavings and metal particles in the gearbox, increasing the risk of failure. So in order to prolong and make sure the longevity of your gearbox, always make sure that you are following the proper maintenance schedule provided by the manufacturer. Otherwise, the oil that is going to be used for a long period, it will thicken up, viscosity will increase, lubrication quality will decrease, 
and debris and sludge that are accumulated in the oil and also cause failure of the gearbox assembly. So it is important to note that specific causes of gearbox failure can vary depending on the make and model of the vehicle as well as the different driving conditions and different working environment and maintenance practices that are followed but always make sure that you are following proper and regular maintenance proper driving techniques and address any issues promptly this can help you prevent gearbox failure and extend the lifespan of your big your gearbox this is how you can prolong the lifespan of your gearbox so in order to prolong the life of your gearbox always follow the manufacturer's recommended maintenance schedule for that specific gearbox this includes regular oil change oil filter replacements and inspection proper maintenance will help you ensure the e gearbox is operating efficiently and reduce the risk of component wear and always make sure that you are using the correct lubricant recommended lubricant specified by the manufacturer should be used as lubricants provide crucial protection against friction and wear using the wrong type of uh, fluid wrong grade wrong type of oil can lead to increased friction and accelerated wear this will potentially shorten the life of the gearbox and also make sure that you always allow warm up time when starting a vehicle allow it to warm up before putting it under heavy load this will allow the lubricant to flow smoothly and evenly reducing wear or internal components especially if you are living in a very cold environment this is a very crucial task if the environment is extremely cold oil viscosity will change so that needs some type some warm up time in order to attain the proper viscosity and as much as possible avoid overloading try shifting smoothly and make sure that clutch engagement is smooth when using a manual transmission engage the clutch smoothly by doing so you can increase the lifespan of your transmission avoid riding the clutch some drivers have this bad habit of putting their foot on the clutch pedal while driving this can cause unnecessary wear on the clutch and gearbox components fully depress the clutch when shifting and then release it completely when not in use so these are some of the things that you need to do in order to prolong the service life of your manual gearbox well dear viewers that is all we have for you in this presentation if you like this video please smash the like button if you are new here do consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video until then stay safe